So the big question is this, how important is physical appearance in dating? Today I discuss this sensitive and often debated topic. My name is Jonah Wosu and welcome to the Second Chances podcast, a love journey in black and white. Okay, here's what triggered this topic today. Um, so I did a photo shoot a couple of weeks ago and some of the photos came in yesterday. So I shared the link with Davide and he was like, oh my God, you look so amazing. I already shared it with my friends and family. And that's pretty common with him. And it really got me thinking about my physical appearance, my physical style and the role it really played in dating. Not to mention that Davide always reminds me that the number one reason he's with me is because of how I look and how I dress. But that's okay. <laughs> so this topic is pretty delicate. I get it. And so I want to make sure that I approach it in a sensitive, but yet with the right clarity that we need to be able to take the, the lesson and move forward with it. So this isn't about succumbing to unrealistic social media pressures of what beauty standards look like and how you should dress and yada, yada, yada. No, it's not even about changing who you are to please others. No, it's about understanding how you taking care of your physical appearance and prioritizing it can really impact your dating life and the quality of the men that you attract. It sounds unfair, but that is the reality. So when I talk about taking care of your parents, well, what am I referring to? Well, it, it's not just about dressing up and wearing makeup and all of that stuff. Not really. It's more around the self-care that you give yourself and the way you present yourself to the world. The, uh, you know, re- presenting yourself in a way that reflects you respect yourself. You know what your value is. You know what your worth is. It's so powerful. The truth is, physical appearances is often the first thing that everyone notices. Male, female, colleagues, whatever. And it's the same in the dating game. So it's not even so much about your natural beauty, even though your natural beauty does play a huge role. But there is just an aura. There's just something about someone who takes care of themselves, who really puts in an effort to present themselves as the best possible version. It is so powerful, right? This effort is a signal to yourself and to the world that I really see myself as amazing and as fantastic. Because if you saw your car as amazing and fantastic, you will make sure that the car is clean, it is washed, it is um, it is buffed, and it's constantly glowing. So that's the same way, or that's the message that you project when you take time to present yourself in an amazing way. Now, why does this matter in attracting quality men? Well, we know that men are first moved by what they see with their eyes, but It's also around the respect that you have for yourself, allowing you to attract men who also have respect for themselves. The truth is, quality men are usually looking for people who also prioritize prioritize their their appearances and their, 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 their welfare, their healthcare and all of that stuff and how they look. And the truth is, when you're When you take pride in your physical appearance, this will translate to a quality man that, hmm, okay, well, she's someone who really takes time to really, really take care of herself. And he will respect you for that. He will be attracted to that. Another thing that taking care of your parents can do for you is boost your confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you might say you're confident right now or you're confident, as confident as confident can be. Okay, that's fine. The truth is, when you feel good about how you look, it shows. It shows in your step. You have a new swag around you, a new body language that, ooh, everyone cannot help to notice you. Even the way you speak changes. Confidence, even though, yeah, we know that confidence is not all physical, but there's such a huge role that your physical appearance plays in boosting your confidence. And confidence is such an attractive quality. And most men are drawn to confident women. 
I used to be one of those people who thought, oh God, I'm confident. I don't care. I'm not defined by my looks. And really I wasn't. But the truth and the reality is when I started to lose weight and really get closer to my ideal weight, I was going to the gym. I was working out. I was looking better. I was feeling better in clothes. I didn't have to spend three hours trying to figure out one outfit to wear. I could just pick anything, slap on a t-shirt and a pair of leggings and I'm good to go. My confidence, woo, through the roof. And that's the truth. So even though I was always a confident person, I know that when I started to really, really take out time and really choose how I wanted to show up, which is for me, dressing up always, I started to see a huge shift in the quality of men that I was attracting on the dating app and on my dates. And every date I went on, the first compliment was always on my appearance, my look, my confidence, whatever it was, it was always to do with how I had showed up. And that's because I put in some effort. It wasn't a lot of effort because once you determine what your own unique style is, then it's easy to just be that because you're comfortable, you're confident in what you're wearing and how you're looking. So that's another thing that taking care of your physical appearance does. It boosts your confidence. So it's very important that you do strike a balance, however. Like I said, physical appearance, yeah, it's important. It's um, it's what should really, really speak for you first before you open your mouth and you show your true your, your character. But you still also have to balance it with the other inner qualities because those are the ones that will keep a man. So where your physical appearance might be able to attract a partner, the your more internal core values are what will keep him longer term and want him, make him want to commit. So things like your authenticity, your kindness, your intelligence, your sense of humor, your respect, your, your nurturing skills, your, just all of those beautiful things that a, a, a high quality man will be looking for in a woman so make sure that where you're taking care of your external physical you're also taking care of your inner qualities and unlearning and maybe learning some new things that are more aligned with the best version of yourself so again this is not about you transforming yourself into what you think others and social media and whoever whoever your father brother teacher sister whoever says you should look like, but more about how you see yourself. When you think about the best version of yourself, what picture do you see? That is the goal. That is the goal that you should be pursuing. How can I be that? And it could be maybe just dress differently, maybe lose some weight, maybe go to the gym, maybe whatever it is. You do you, but you need to make sure that you're working towards presenting yourself in the highest and the best possible way out there the world has changed okay and no one is going to get to know the inner you without going through the outer you so make it a priority as we start this new year i know it's a cliche everybody go joins the gym in january but it's not so much about joining the gym but just make it a priority this year to make sure that you're presenting yourself in a way that speaks very high volumes about your self-worth your value right how much you you feel worthy So that that way you can also attract high quality, high value men into your space. This is a form of self-respect. This is a form of self-love. How else are you going to show yourself that you love you by taking care of you? Okay, so don't be all stuck up on, oh, vanity, I need to slap on some more makeup. I need to do that. It's not about any of those things. Even though if that's what makes you feel beautiful and boosts your confidence, you go do it. That's fine. But it's more around really aligning with your highest version of who you are. And the quality men will recognize that and will be attracted to you. And they will appreciate all the effort that you've put into taking care of your physical appearance. You will get complimented on it every day as I do. Davide compliments every single day, every single outfit, hair, make whatever it is. There's a compliment coming and he really does mean it because he really does love how I look. So yes, you figure out what your style is, what's unique to you, what feels comfortable to you and you go ahead and you do that. You optimize that, you use it to your advantage this year so that you're attracting the right kind of people that you want into your life. Thank you for listening to, to today's episode on the Second Chances podcast, A Love Journey in Black and White. Until next time, sending you love and light.